What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode we completed up two very large side quests with multiple different paths to take. Uh, which took us quite a long while. It was probably one of my longest episodes yet. And um, in this episode we're finally going to be heading off towards the Faron region in search of the first trial gate which will lead us to our very first trial so let's waste no more time and get started we're going straight into things now I do want to mention that there is one side quest that we do have available to us right now but I was gonna give it its own video but considering just how little of actual time it would take for me to do that side quest um, and considering the length of well the side quest is so short that I've decided to hold it off until we next come back towards, um, by the way, you're going to want to head to In the Woods for this one. Um, it's not where the, uh, trial gate is. Um, if you want to just use the truck, go to the trial gate, use the viewing platform statue, but I'm going to head to, uh, In the Woods. Um, but as I was saying, uh, it's kind of like, um, this is, there's not a whole lot for us to do and it would just take up, like, enough time in this episode where this episode would be incredibly long and um, I wouldn't I don't really want this video to be 30 I like to keep these videos between 20 and 25 minutes if it goes a little over that nothing I can do uh, but anyway a report master link I've detected the aura of a trial gate nearby if you can pinpoint the origins of this aura using dowsing I can jure I conjecture that the song you learned at the Isle of Songs for Aurora's courage will reveal the gate sure thing so you may have noticed one thing the enemies in this area have gotten a lot stronger. Ooh, hold on. Do I have a... Um, I think I do have an empty bottle. I do. Um, if you guys remember way, way, way back when, when we first started this series, I said if you ever see a glittering mushroom, grab, hit it with your um, sword, and it will sparkle like this and then scoop this up with your bottle, you will get glittering spores. This is a powder that was released by glowing mushrooms. Mushrooms will glow at random, and you have five uses of this bottle. Now, I don't exactly remember everything that glittering spores does, um, but if, for example, an enemy drops a ruby, There we go. No rupee. Wow, really? That's crazy. Anyway, um, if you drop the, if something drops a rupee, for example, and you pick it up, or uh, yeah, if you can, if I can see if something drop a rupee, a, 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 a rupee. No, nope, that's just a heart. Uh, a, 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 a rupee. All right, never mind. Forget it. Anyway, you can throw the glittering spores on the rupees. And uh, it gives you a pretty solid chance, depending on the type of rupee that is, giving you a better rupee. And you even have a rare chance of getting a silver rupee. So let's say an enemy drops a blue rupee. You can pour glitter glittering spores and you have a chance to get any other type of rupee. So yes, there is a chance that you lose some money and go down to a green rupee. But there's also a chance that it becomes a black rupee. And these are rupors. By the way, you're going to bomb this rock. We saw this a long time ago, but there's something important behind it and we... Could have come back after we got the bombs, but I decided to wait till now. There's a piece of heart. Now, if you find a report, don't pick it up, or you can see Link's animation for it. And I believe you just lose 10 rupees, which is kind of funny. And a Link's reaction is pretty priceless. Um, I'm going to run by this guy, hopefully not get attacked. Alright, sweet, there we go. Um, but you notice enemies have, or different types of enemies have come through this area, so... Uh, Keep that in mind. Uh, but I'll be going back for that side quest. I, I know I keep coming back to that. Um, but I didn't feel like I really finished explaining it enough. Um, I'll be coming back to that once we enter the trial gate. And also, some brand new enemies over here. Uh, these are blue bokoblins. Uh, they're just a little stronger than the red variants. That's, that's literally it. And ooh, For example, we can try it out. Um, now, and for example, 
It became a blue rupee that immediately disappeared. That makes me sad. Anyway, this is where the trail gate. You see this nice glowing spot on the ground? Simply pull out your harp and strum. And sure enough, the passage to the gate will open. I've had so many things to try to explain this episode that um, it's uh, I feel like I've not done a very good job of explaining it. So, uh, side quest, going back to it later. Uh, actually, that was pretty much it, but I got interrupted so many times. Anyway, we're going to be going back to that later. I'll mention it when we go back, um, exactly what the side quest was. You could do it before you come here. For the sake of recording videos, I'm not doing that. Alright, now to open the trial gate. It's very simple. Follow this pulsing orb. And, of course, Phi will sing along with us. So I'll let you guys listen. Something here is reacting to our performance of Pharaoh's Courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. I calculate a 90% possibility that this marks the trial gate. This mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from the Isle of from on the Isle of Songs. Thrust your sword in the center of the mark on the ground before you. Sure thing, Five. So all we do is a walk up to it, ready our sword, and thrust it into the center. And when that happens will be transported to our first trial. Master Link, as expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial calls out to your mind alone. This is the nature of places known as Silent Realms. These are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, Pharaoh or Silent Realm, tests the limits of your courage. Your spirit has temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. You got the spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit, Link. That is your spirit vessel. When this vessel is full, it will signify that you have successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. This, in turn, will allow the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as the Tears of Fair War. Excuse me. There are many of them spread across this strange world. Master, do you see the glowing object just in front of you? I do. That is a tier of Ferror. You will need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not as simple as a task as it would seem. Your work in this room is referred to as a trial for good reason. If you take even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, the guardians of this room will wake up and pursue you, Master. If a guardian manages to land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail the trial. You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area and fill the spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. Was my explanation clear, Master? Do you need me to explain again? I think I've got it. Understood, Master. I will be eagerly awaiting your return in the outside world. May the goddess watch over you, Master. Alright, so these are Silent Realms, and let me tell you, these places are literally terrifying. Like, I remember playing this game back when I was, like, a kid, like, mid, like, late, like, kid age, and, like, early preteen playing through this game for the first time. 
I could not do these levels. Not because they were hard. They're actually fairly straightforward. It's just they are terrifying. My nerves couldn't handle it. Uh, but anyway, so like Fi said, if we take a step outside here, the sky turns red and you'll hear the music uh, go crazy. And you'll hear see these guardians come running after you. So like, for example, this guy is going to come running after me. And I'm going to go show you guys exactly what will happen if he lands a hit on us. He knocks us over and our spirit shatters. And then we simply reappear in the circle. Master Link, I can unfortunately confirm that you have failed to pass the trial. Master, so long as you have the will and determination, you can retry a trial as many times as you would like. A good strategy is to find, but then deliberately not pick up the most easily accessible tiers until you are discovered and really need one. Collect the 15 tiers and complete the trial. I'll await your return in the outside world. Alright, so um, one more thing that I do want to show you guys is if we get hit multiple times. So once again, we step outside. You get this cutscene every single time. Let the sky land a hit on me. Um, we're going to do this a couple times because there is something that I do want to show you guys that I didn't learn about until recently. But I think it's pretty funny. Yeah, so you, uh, the location of tiers you've already gathered are marked on your map. You'll have an easier time completing the task if you first set up to discover the location of all 15 tiers. Collect the tiers within the Silent Realm. I shall await your return. So yeah, um, if you collect a tier, it will show up on your map. And also, while you're in this like weird, glowy state, um, the uh, green guy, uh, the green uh, little tiers will. Um, kind of uh, glow with a beam in the air so you can see them but the music still continues you can hear it in the background yeah it's pretty freaky you can also examine this to leap if you ever want to and the moment I step outside of here everything turns back uh, again um, so let's try this a couple more times I know I'm kind of wasting time here uh, but there is something I do want to show off here uh, that five will say after we failed enough times. Master Link, unable to pass trial. Two types of watchers patrol the realm, looking for intruders. I highly suggest you take caution. So as long as you're not stepping in their light, you will remain undetected by flying sky watchers. However, the earth watchers, who hover near the ground, will chase you if you come too close to them. So stay alert and maintain a safe distance. Collect all the tears in the silent realm. I shall await your return here. Um, I'll show off what those guys sky watchers are like that guy over there that guy will not specifically target onto you um, He will only alert the guardians in the area. So for example if I collect a actually, you know, what, I'll show you if I collect this tier um, One will get a little notification that says we've collected a tier of Ferror. This object halts the movement of the guardians for just 90 seconds and collect all 15 to pass the trial So now these guys will not move uh, no matter how close I get they can't do anything to me and the uh Flower in the top left shows you how much time you have left. This is also a light fruit. This mysterious fruit enables you to see beacons over the positions of sacred tears for 30 seconds. So the beams of, uh, yeah, those little beams will now reappear every time it collects one of those fruits. Also, while you step in here, your timer does not continue. So if I have like 10 seconds left and I need to plant a, a root, I can simply look around and say, all right, that one's closest. Let me go collect it. Sky Watchers uh, won't directly target onto you. Unless you walk into their light like this, they will alert the guardians of your presence and you will completely run out of time. Uh, and then, uh, like for example, um, this guy can, oh, he actually missed. Yeah, I'll just let you hit me again. And he knocked me over in such a strange way. That was kind of awkward. And yes, you don't keep tears when you collect them again. Master, the chances of you not being the chosen one are increasing. This is what I wanted to show you. I don't know why, but that quote is absolutely hilarious to me. The chances of you not being the chosen one are increasing. Repeated attempts at this trial have scattered your concentration and made your performance erratic. I suggest you rest a while before trying again. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's she's like calling out to like you as the player, not even Link. Scattered your concentration and your performance is erratic. Dang. Collect all the tears and you should await your return here. So. Uh, one more thing that I want to show off. Uh, yes, you get this small cutscene every time. Um, no, I want to collect this tier. Um, but another thing that I want to show off, I know I'm showing off a lot before we actually get started with the trial, but once I show this off the first time, I don't ever have to show it off again. Uh, one, be careful of your stamina. This stuff right here, actually, Fi will talk to us about it. 
This unusual liquid substance that covers this area is known as waking water. It has certain unique properties. If you make contact with waking water, the guardians will be immediately alerted to your presence. Pools of waking water are located all throughout the area. I suggest you watch where you step. So for example, if I step on it, you don't actually sink into the water, uh, but these guys are alerted to your location. And so real quick, I'm going to turn around, run right here next to this guy, and grab that. And um, so now I think we'll actually begin our movement through the trial. Now I do need to be careful. Um, right around behind this tree you can sometimes find a strange purple item that you may or may not see. Though they're not always here, you can find one back there. And I will be showing off all the locations for these specific items and also... Um, well, the game will show it off once we collect one for the first time. By the way, that guy right there, that is an Earth Watcher. He will target onto you if you become too close to him. And actually, there's one right over there, but there's also a chance of there one being right down here as well. If I can find it. Alright, no. Alright, so we're good here. There's also the chances that there one being right up here. Uh, keep an eye on your time up there, up top, or up here, up top. Uh, it's tier number five, and yeah, right here. This is a dusk relic. These items are very similar in appearance to the amber relics, yet very different, and they can only be found in Silent Realms. But I will say there are quite a few. You saw one right over there on the ground, so this is the location of another that you can find. Um, by the way, there actually isn't one. I've got a map pulled up. There's not one down there. I just double checked my map real quick. There's not one that you can actually collect down that way, so keep that in mind. Um, I want to hop right down over here. There's some more waking water over there, so be careful. Also, some watchers. And a dusk relic, if I can run over and grab it really quickly. There we go. And so there's a location of another. There's one on this ledge right here. There's another tier. They're all pretty close together, actually. They're not too hard to find or anything like that. Um, another amber relic right here in this tree. If you can knock that down. Nice and easy. There's also sometimes one up here. So watch this waking water. If you can run over, grab that tier, and roll out immediately before that waking water reappears, you'll be in good shape. So for this guy, I recommend just walking around this uh, path in the center and uh, making your way all the way over here. Sometimes you can find a amber relic up here just right over here uh, and that's all for like this immediate area uh, now I suggest going back the same way you came because if you go back the other path the chances of that earth watcher seeing you are a little bit higher and if he does see you he will chase you so definitely keep a safe distance from him uh, there's another tier right here we're already about halfway through this like I said these things aren't generally too hard if you generally follow the path like for example that I'm taking you should be okay. Now there's an Earth Watcher right here. Now what I reckon I might do is uh, you also hear that little bell jingle um, that lets you know that they're close. Yeah, if you ever see that light and he ever kind of does that motion right there, simply just run uh, away and you should be good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now that I've collected that Dusk Relic, because you want to collect as many as you can because they're only found here. And in some uh, buying situations, you can find them as well. And hug this left wall here as well uh, to make sure you avoid that watcher. And now uh, we're actually back up here, and another dusk relic can be found up here. And um, I think there was one back, like, um, let me check my map. You can also find one. Uh, that is where I am now. Uh, like I said, you can find one right here. At and uh, the last two are located, the dust relics that you can find are located here and here. I'll show those off uh, once I make my way over there. We only have a couple of tiers left, so we should be in good shape. Um, and that's actually all the locations for these guys. Now the question is, is, am I missing any... I've got this, and I can push this down create a path for that's not gonna do anything it's not gonna let these guys it is gonna allow me to loop back around though and uh, sure enough there is a dusk relic here and I'm missing a couple of tears the question is is where ah, I think there's one up yeah I need to go back real quick yeah there's one up there on that ledge 
Uh, I got so worried about the dust girl that I kind of forgot about two of these guys. They're not super far away though, so we should be all right. All right yeah, we should have plenty of time to reach all of these and uh, be okay. In fact, what I need to do is I need to just probably my best bet is to go around, but avoid the waking water. Okay, so we got about half of our time left, so we're running a little low on time. But other than that, we should be a okay. Always double check your corners before you walk ahead in case there's a Earth Watcher around. And, um, actually, you see, our time's getting pretty close to low. And, um, you'll actually, um, see the flowers start to blink probably about three feathers, or really two feathers. And you'll hear the time or the music start to slowly fade. You'll actually hear it right here. Hold on, if it'll play for me. It should start to flash any second now. And you'll kind of hear it start to... The music start to change, yeah. And the sky slowly changes as well. And the music gets all creepy, and then eventually the pedal dies, and you've run out of time. Though luckily enough for me, I am right here. Now those guys uh, over there, like that little guy, that other guardian right there in front of me, this guy is only on the ground, these guys are right over there that can fly. So if you're ever up on a platform like this, you're still not safe because they will literally just fly towards you and they will fly through walls too. So like one of them can straight up fly through this tree, absolutely wreck you and uh, you've got to start all the way over. So do be careful, keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, now, where to go from here? Probably the s quickest option is this way, though we've got to be a little quick now, because um, we are kind of starting to run out of time here, and I've still got two more to collect. Uh, I do know where one of them is, and I'm actually going to leave it till the end. It's on top of this little uh, tower up there. It's uh, right up there uh, in front of me. That's where the last one is, but I'm going to leave that until last because it's the closest to the exit and um, once you collected all the tiers you can then enter the exit and it will immediately take you out of the trial and you'll get your reward uh, once doing so all right so let's be a little quick about this luckily they give us some more stamina fruit than we would ever need uh, to leap our way through here all right there we go got that one and now we should be able to just run back over this way, avoid this guy. And you can see the last one is all the way up there. Alright, so let's make our way up top up here to grab that last tier of Ferror. And uh, we should be good to go. I believe I've showed off everything here inside the Silent Realms. If there's anything I forget, don't worry. There's two more. Uh, you can find another Dusk Relic right here. Sadly for us, uh, there's... Uh, there's not any more here for us to collect. Though we got seven, and that's usually about how many you'll find. And sure enough, we walk up here. And we've collected every last tier of Fair War. Our spirit has grown. With the trial, we'll continue until we exit the Silent Realm. Please proceed with caution on your way back to the entrance so that we can claim proof of our spiritual growth. This is why I always, or that's why I would say, um, to be extra, extra careful that uh, you make the last tier. Uh, as close to the exit as possible. The exit will now light up so we can see it, and your timer will not end. So, for example, let's say you feel pretty comfortable with the Silent Realms. No problem. You can avoid most of the Watchers and the Waking Water and stuff like that. You could, for example, go collect all the tiers and then go around and search for Dusk Relics, uh, whichever path you so choose. I prefer to kind of collect the Dusk Relics as I'm going around because they're kind of on my way anyway, and so I don't have to worry about... Um, Accidentally having my beam completely full then running into a watcher and then having to completely restart if I get hit uh, So that's just how I like to do it uh, But anyway now that we've done that We are done with the first trial but Don't worry, we'll have some more in the future and we've got the Water Dragon Scale, the sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and even execute a spin maneuver. Congratulations, Master Link. You've passed this trial. 
You now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. This water dragon scale is one of the goddess's sacred gifts. The great spirit of the water dragon has provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Master, I must conclude that this flame is likely in a part of the area you have not explored. Alright, so uh, let's talk to uh, the Kikui Elder, because he happened to appear behind us. Ah, hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale there, Q. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one, Q, you can swim through the water like a, you can swim through the water like a dragon soars through the sky. There must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet, Q. You should use the water dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't even get to before, Q. All right, and uh, if you couldn't tell, there's some water right here. So to show up this off real quick, we just hop in the water. We can press A to swim. And we can now go underwater. If you hit the uh, shield bash button or the spin button while underwater, you can perform a spin move. So just like this. So we swim, we can perform a spin move, and that spin move can even sometimes, uh, if I can get it to work properly. Hold on, let's try it uh, while avoiding this guy. You can uh, jump out of the water just like that. It looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but I guess... We'll be exploring the rest of the area uh, once we get a chance, and I think we can make some upgrades to some gear as well. Um, but uh, we're going to save the gear for uh, much later, and uh, we're going to save the exploring the rest of Faron Woods uh, for the next episode. And this episode ended up being longer than I wanted it to because I was showing off everything in the uh, Silent Realm, so... Uh, Funny how that works, I guess. Uh, but anyway, I think that's going to do it all for this episode here, guys. So if you guys uh, did like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. It helps the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.